We have new information this morning. Troy police are taking steps to protect you at the pump. Fewer and fewer people are using cash these days, and it only takes seconds for a thief to steal your credit card information. 7X News reporter Matthew Smith joins us live. And Matt, this is a real threat we all face daily. But I have to be honest, it's not something I really even think about. Yeah, and few people do. You're driving to work this morning, you stop, you pop in the credit card. We're talking about credit card skimmers here. And in the old days, police would be just across the street. If they knew one was there, they'd watch for the person to return. These days, thieves can be a little bit more intelligent because of technology. I mean, you've seen this before, blue te technology. You hit one button here, and all of a sudden you have the information. They can do the same thing with skimmers now. So police, they don't have that leg up anymore. Honestly, everyone, this is just a hard situation for police and everyone to get a handle on. The technology is always changing. So you swiped your card. So next you go to pump your gas, right? Hot, not so fast. Right there, that's the mistake. The card, it's not always safe. It's not always easy, but using cash is a good option. But Troy PD understands it's not always practical. That's why a few months back, they rolled these stickers out. Most gas stations are happy to participate. It's also a deterrent, so a thief looking for a pump to compromise may not use one that had this sticker on it. And that's good, because there are a lot of thieves. Try Detroit, Ann Arbor, Bloomfield, Dearborn. Heck, it may be easier to name the places credit card skimmers haven't been found in the past two years. By the way, this list is where they have been found. More than 70 gas stations throughout the state. And those are just the skimmers found at gas stations. Could have happened anywhere, so we run into jurisdictional issues, plus it's difficult to investigate. So if you're like me, you don't really want to use the cash in the early morning hours. Hey, one thing that you can do, keep an eye on your bank statements. I got more ideas on how you can help yourself out over at WXYZ.com right now. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.